And don't forget where you put it when you have recorded it. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually changed the message on my screen to normal. Oh, mine hasn't. Oh, really? Mine hasn't. Mine yeah, hasn't. Oh, don't, mm. don't spook me. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm bad enough. To do a software update, I think. Um, yes, maybe. Okay, let's let's see what we're going to do now. I'm. Uh, I'll, I'll mute all. Mm. Now I've forgotten what to do. Share screen. Here we are. So um, this is a square format, which I don't particularly like, but there's no reason why we can't just set off with a more of a, a landscape shape and just make it fit. So perhaps just add a little bit extra to each side uh, so it's a nice bright sky cobalt blue with plenty of individual clouds dotted about and they're important because they give us the shadows you can see on the on the ground there uh, that's, that's really nice when and you can do that. So we've got the, the hills in the background changing colour. They're quite dull and muted in the background as usual, and they come towards us, building up colour as as they march forward. And likewise, the the dale in the bottom it's fairly dull green. It gets a lot brighter to the bottom of the page. Um, so much so it's quite luminous the, the yellowy green right at the bottom there um, must be tremendously steep just over the wall here but there you go little hamlet in the bottom i don't know this district at all so um, it's not easy to find out but there's a chance to put a lot of colour in the bottom of the of the dale here. And when each field has got its perimeter with a with a wall, that often delineates a slight change in the in the grass. It might be a different soil type or the, the sheep have been more active and, and you, you do see changes from field to field and that's always quite nice. Right. Let's just check if all is well. Right. Good to go. So I'll crop this view on my paper about there. That seems about right. The horizon is two thirds up. I'm just drawing the main features. You can see how these lines indicate the uh, lay of the land. It's quite steep fields. Little, little area of woodland on the hillside 
a lot more trees in the valley bottom, the where the river is. So this is bunching up already. Send that back uphill a little bit. So these are the lines of trees. Let's get this in before I run out of space here. Yeah. Don't draw this barn too big. It shouldn't dominate. There is a, 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 a little road that winds away into the distance. I'll put that in with my brush. I don't want particularly to draw that in. Just put an indicator there. Also these, these fields. I'm going to do those as I, as I go along, rather than draw them all in now, which would be tedious and not necessary. I do know that one, once you put a mark on the paper, you're more or less fixated by it and you start painting up to it unnecessarily. Um, this little hamlet in the bottom, just a little, little cluster of shapes will do for that. I'm a bit nervous about this, what must be like a cliff face here. I think I'm going to put in the side of the hill as it falls away from this wall. That looks more comfortable to me. Right, so it's, it's a very sketchy, sketchy drawing. All it needs to be. And the, the the field, the walls further up the dale are right next to each other, so they're long, narrow fields. And the shadows of the clouds, and I'll leave that till till later. So All I need.
I suppose I should keep talking for the sake of the video. Just wondering if anyone's finished the drawing and waiting. Yeah, one or two. So we'll give it another minute and then we'll, off we go with our blue sky. I'll be wetting the paper and then letting it stand and then just dab it off a little bit in the, in the sky. Round about in the areas where I'd want a cloud to be. It's hit and miss, but I think that's what's good about it. Right, a bit of water. Added more water to my brush to take this blue sky right down to the horizon where it would always be a little bit paler. Put a tiny bit of grey in, in my mix with my blue to the bottom sides of the clouds. And with clean water, just smooth those sharp edges out. So the top edge of the clouds can be sharp and crisp, bottom edge a little bit fuzzy. And 
already I don't like these clouds at all. It's too formulaic. Okay. I'm just drawing along the horizon line so I can get on with the with the uh, painting the hills. This is quite a lot of water, quite quite damp and I don't want the earth colours chasing up into the sky. So the furthermost hill, I'll just put a little bit of violet into a bluey grey. that down a little bit excuse me tony i don't have violet would you go oh, oh, oh would, a little bit you... of uh, crimson yeah yeah I've got that. Thank you. that's fine thank you so the next hill along I'm just going to add a bit of raw sienna in, see how that looks. Looks a bit dingy. So the next hill is raw sienna and a tiny bit of um, scarlet in with it just to warm it up a bit. Let's see how that looks. You would notice me being handy with my kitchen roll here. That's just to create some paler areas, a bit of interest.
Now we've gone darker again. I added a bit of burnt umber. And this sort of gives over to green. So that was just a hint. Let's get some green on the go. Merge that in to that previous colour. Now that colour is very similar to the hills on the right hand side. It starts off quite pale at the top. Getting stronger as they come down the hill. So this is looking quite blotchy and uh, deliberately so. There's all sorts of shades of green in the bottom here. Quite bright weather, full sun. I'll be coming back over with a shadow later when this is dry. So this pale yellowy green more or less extends right to the bottom here. I know it's much darker in the photo, but that's the shadow that will come later. When you know there's a colour coming on the top, it doesn't stop you carrying on through with your base colour. Because if you try and second guess where that darker colour is going to come, it might not match what you've the position of what you've done already and you get a little line. Hope that made sense. So the, the field around the barn is in full sun, it got super pale 
yellowy green. Just adding some raw sienna into this. Just a bit of cross hatching. This is the hill side which you don't see on the photo, which is falling away in front of us, steeply down into the valley bottom. I'm just heeding my own advice and coring in where the ball is. Just give me more options when it comes to doing the wall. So now these hills in the background are just damp. I'm going to try a, a shadow. See how it looks. So blue and burnt umber. Nice warm grey. It looks rather fierce. Just removing a little bit here and there. Another shadow down the side of this hill and I painted it the same colour, which it, it technically wouldn't be. So let's just 
take some of it off again. So this has set the tone for the whole picture. These, these shadows. And they look they look quite fierce, but we're looking at them in isolation when the rest is done and there's a lot of detail and a lot of dark shadows down here, this will it, it this will look fine. He said. Right, now, the shadows on the green part do have to be a different colour. So this is a bit of um, Payne's grey and blue added. Just giving us a nice smooth edge. The, the, um, the shadows wouldn't have sharp edges, of course. So here's what the shadow colour. This is just water Started off much too dark there.
Just adding a tiny bit of orange to the uh, colour of the grass. So this this shadow is extensive right across. And it's got little windows of sunlight shining through it. I'll just paint around where this little hamlet is, so it gives me the chance of a little bit of colour there. It all looks very unstructured, a bit like a wilderness, but when we put the trees and the, the walls in, I'm hoping everything will look a lot more civilised. Sometimes it's difficult to judge just how dark something should be. But if you narrow your eye and look at the photograph, it's really quite dark down here.
just smoothing out any naturally sharp edges. I think I've got too many, too many gaps here. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come down, down the valley with all the little bits of detail on the walls and trees, fairly subdued in the background, getting quite sharp in the foreground. Okay. So if you're looking at the far distance, the trees, very dark green. Should have merged the screen in 
It was still damp up here. Took my off the ball. Still not dry. It won't be if I keep wetting it. I have these little arguments with myself. Hi Tony, Hello. very nice. Hi there, sorry, I've got a dash now. Uh, I'll finish it at the weekend. I feel I'm going to know this day off quite well. Okay, Fiona. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Looking lovely. Okay. Oh, right. Thank yeah. you. See you soon. Bye bye. Yeah, see you soon. Bye. It's very satisfying doing this when at last there's some sense of order appearing.
these lines I'm I'm painting up partly what I can see on the picture partly made up I don't think anybody's checking the park inspector coming around. Now you, you could easily go over the top with these little lines. Best to leave at least some of it to imagination. Some of these walls are broken down, so they've got a few gaps in here and there. Although I do believe they're fairly well maintained. I'm guessing this is the path of the river. Not entirely visible across there.
this is the road in to the hamlet. So all, the, all this, this, um, this colour is the same all, all through, it's just, I don't distinguish between the trees and the walls, it's all just a dark greeny grey. This is the side of the hill, so oh, steeply away from us, so all these lines bunch up together. This is the wall. All in its own shadow except the stones at the top.
Let's pick a brush for this. Try and give it a ragged bottom edge where the grass is. Excuse me. I'm just painting against the wet wall with a strong yellow. I'm just encouraging the, the two to mingle a little bit. Get this bit of action in this little field. I suppose we'll have a little bit here as well. So this wall of the barn is in shadow. Take a little bit out. Lighten it because this wall is in a darker shadow. The sloping roof here. Now, where the wall comes down to the field wall, just leave a line of white. So that's the wall toppings. We've got the same here.
I'm just going to extend this a little bit, get the shape right. sepia for this roof which I'm going to put on and wipe off. Just lift that out. We all have a stone roof, of course, these barns. I'm not going to bother with any any stonework or coast lines. Just a plain colour should do the trick. Let's get my geometry right. I'm pretty sure you would see the, uh, the bottom of this barn about there. No, this is going to be successful. That's about.
bit of fairly pale gouache here. Just a few judicious blobs here and there for the buildings. This will dry much darker. Well, I'm pretty much done here. Don't worry, I'm not panicking you. Tony, I've got this is Lynn. I've got to go. I've got a bit a bit more to do on houses and things. But oh um, yes, Lynn. Oh, it's looking good. I, okay. cut the, I took it up to a square that way, different to you, but Yeah, that's I've, fine. I have to do a bit more here around the houses. Not yes, quite sure how to bring them out, but I, when it's, it's dry, I'll progress. It is. All right. I've really All enjoyed right. it. Thank you, Tony. Oh, very good. Thanks, Lynn. Bye bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Um, oh, Okay, Joel, let's look. Oh, lovely. Oh, that looks really good, Joel. Yeah. It's Lindsay, isn't it? Lindsay, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Oh, smashing it's... that, Lindsay. Yeah, shadows are a bit difficult, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah, I was struggling. Mine aren't dark enough. You, you've done really well with yours. I just went back to the sky and did some bottoms to the clouds as well. Yes. It's turned out nice. Well done, Lindsay. Yeah, thank you. Tony, can you hear me? Um, Rena, is it yeah. you? Yeah, I can't remember how to fix the camera, but 
<laughs> is there uh, a little icon in the in the bottom left which looks like a, a, a camera a red camera it says start video um yes yeah is that it i think yeah. that's it yes yeah yes it is there you go there, there we are <laughs> uh, that word yeah in, the, in darkness for so long <laughs> uh, okay uh, annie oh hello <laughs> hello there that looks lovely yeah i don't like this bit the no. field there well why why not you know mm. you get things like that it's quite random <laughs> escarpments and things i mean it, you know mm. you can't go wrong with it, really with something like this so long as you make make something of it and uh, you've done that nicely okay thank you yeah super um anna you you you've done well also you've got a nice sense of nice sense of distance there yes well done Thanks very much. Did you like that? Yeah, I enjoyed that, yeah. Oh, very good. <laughs> but you might not enjoy next week's. Wait till you find yeah, out. Okay. Not Raquel, <laughs> is it? The Raquel. We can't have fun every time. We're going to have some pain. Okay. Um, Vicky, that looks, that looks busy, Vicky. <laughs> I put some sheep in. Yeah. Oh, you put some sheep in. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> but it didn't work out very well. Yes. No, it's, it looks good, uh, Vicky. Interesting. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, Rena, you got some nice colours there. Hello, I'm not sure if I'm putting this in a good position. Well, I can, I can see it bobbing about. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, a bit further away, Rena, and straighten it up vertical. <coughs> right, well, I've, I've seen enough, and I think it looks lovely. I think it's fine. <laughs> okay, now, some of you are still painting, so don't don't rush and panic. Uh, Bev, let's look. This looks rather good. You've frozen, Bev. Sorry, sorry, I'm not on here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that. You got some super yeah. pastel colours leading off into the distance. Thank you. Nicely done. Okay, Charlotte, you, you've Hello. been a bit more forceful with your uh, paintwork. When the colour, they're not as bright as that. It seems to be when I on your screen, it looks different colours. Yes, it's it definitely is. a bit more subdued than that. <laughs> No, I think I think it looks it looks a nice char characterful picture that. Thank you, Tony. Uh, the, the foreground looks superb. I like my hat. I, I think it doesn't recede into the distance as as much as it could, yes. and and you can do that because you can take some paint off here and there. Yeah, yeah. Or you can leave it because it's okay. It's fine. All right. Thank you. I love that bottom uh, bottom right corner. Really well Thank done. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, um, Trixie, let's look, Trixie. Whoa, crikey, you've got a lot of fields there. Thanks, Trixie. <laughs> Sorry, Trixie, you're muted. You weren't, and now you are. Anyway, I'll come back to you, Trixie. I don't think you, you showed it me properly. Uh, right, Liz, let's... Oh, yes, that's fine. Yes, lovely. Thank you. Yeah, good sense of distance there. Okay. Um, oh, now there's, there's a few people lurking over the page. Oh, before I go, Alison, it's just popped up. Oh, oh nice. Now that looks really nice, Alison. Thank you. It's not quite yeah. cool. What were you doing with the top of the wall? Just leaving it white? Or... I just left it white, yes. Um, it, it's a bit fierce. I, I, I may come back over it with a bit of uh, raw sienna. Yes. It's always good as an overglaze because it's so transparent. Yes. Okay, Trixie, you've tried again. Let's... Can you hear me, Tony? Yes, yes, I can oh, hear you. Okay. 
You're very echoey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, as though you're in a tunnel. <laughs> oh, it's nice, Trixie. Thank, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you've done lovely. Okay, now, someone over the page, who have we got? Jill, how, how did you do? Not finished and very messy. Oh, well, it looks okay. No, I like that. No, you've, you've, no. Got, you've got a good lay of the land. It looks like what it should be. You know, you've got a flat valley leading off into the hills. It looks... Uh, <laughs> no, you've got that uh, story well told. It's nice. Jill. You're very kind. Right, thanks. Uh, Andrea. Oh, right. This is very subtle. Yes, I like that, Andrea. Bring it a bit closer and keep it still. Yes, that's really good. It looks a, it looks a misty in the bottom there. And uh, it, that may not be intentional, but it, it looks quite authentic. Nicely done, Andrea. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, anyone else? No, Annie. Have I seen yours, Annie? Yeah, yeah, okay. you have. Uh, sorry. Oh, Natalie's just popped up. Oh, I'm here. Oh yes, Natalie. Oh right, now you've got a lovely naive style there, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Always, yeah. And I, and I like it. It's good, to, it's good to see that, Natalie. Thank you. <laughs> no, really. I know you think I'm facetious, but I like that. I, I wish I could do it, honestly. Um, uh, hi, hi, Tony. I am Abba. Hello, Abba. Oh, hi. I didn't, I, <laughs> nice I didn't to see you till now. Um, I'm happy to uh, in, join the lovely group. Oh, um, right. Yeah, uh, this is first time. Yes, I want to show you just my try. Okay, uh, please do. First time, please so do. I, I haven't finished it yet. But okay. I still... Oh, sorry. Right, right. There's not much light showing on the picture, Abba. I can, I can only see it in a vague detail. Yeah. It's not details, not not yet. All right, I'm I'm, I'm I'm so slow. Of course, it's okay. No, it's come more clear. Now what yeah. I can see is a, a a lovely competent sky, and the hills in the background are really good. Mm -hmm. And in the foreground, it's not finished, like you say. Yeah, it's not finished yet. No, but you've done <laughs> really well. I will go over the the video. Um, you're gonna um. You, you can show me later. Yes, yes. I you finish it and show me next week. Okay, Abba, well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Liz, sorry, you were... Oh, no. Um, Ed Keen. Oh. No, I think it's a bit dark in the background. I might lift some of the hills off, I think. No, it's coming on lovely. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. She's such a swat as Liz. No, I'm not. I don't... <laughs> Teacher's is. I agree. She is, isn't she? Yes, uh, don't be mean, you lot. You're getting, you're getting better every week. Now knock it off. Yeah, quite. Yeah, it was good. all off. <laughs> yeah. uh, Linda, how? Let's see now. I think you were still painting um, to the very end. Yeah. yeah, I'm still painting, but yeah. Yeah, I've got a few things to that's do. That's nice. But... Oh yeah, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. so you've got the, the the lay of the land really well. And um, yeah, it looks as though it's waiting for the shadows. Is that is that right? There's a few bits to do. Yeah, I haven't yeah. got that Hamlet in. I've got this. No, gap. don't don't worry about details. Fundamental no, there's, things. There's a, there's a gap here which yes. is pale at the moment that hasn't yeah. got anything in it. Okay. So, now, when, yeah. when you come to do the, the shadows, you've got to be quite bold, and uh, it will it will tend to lift the dark oh. paint if you brushy brushy do it on gently and it, it could be fine and and uh yeah just just use a bit of a uh, bit of Payne's gray and a bit of blue and a, a little bit of yellow as well it's all transparent colors yeah okay okay yeah. then uh janet mm -hmm. sorry i've let um oh crikey yes <laughs> It's a bit dark, unfortunately, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but 
um, you don't mind, do you? You don't mind slushing on the colours. <laughs> Really, no, but perhaps they need sloshing off as well. <laughs> oh, no, I, I like that. It's nice. It's like um, it's like a semi-abstract, Janet. <laughs> it's a semi. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not being mean, I quite like it. Oh, I do. Yeah. I do. It's, it's, it's not actually quite finished. <laughs> you do like your bright colours. I not? do like my bright colours, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Except when I'm feeling mournful. So. Oh, we don't want that. <laughs> right, okay. We're still all right for time, uh, but I, I don't think... Victoria Berryman, she wants you to look. Oh, where is she? Where is... Where's the second page? Oh, crikey. Oh, Victoria's usually good, aren't they? Yes, where is she? Uh, oh, there they are. Right down at the bottom. Yes, Victoria, see you now. Victoria. Oh, lovely. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Bring, it, bring it a bit closer, Victoria, <laughs> and a bit to the other side. That's it. Okay. Right, mm -hmm. lovely. That's yeah, good. nicely done, Victoria. Mm. Mm, very nice. You know, it looks like Swaledale. Who, who yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super. We've seen Barry's. No. Oh. <laughs> ah, it's hiding there. Quiet. Oh, Barry. Quiet. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> right, closer. Closer. Oh, it looks nice. Okay. It, 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 looks as, it looks unfinished, Barry. It is. It is. Right, this is just a base coat. So you've got all a lot of walls to go in. You've got your sh oh. shadows to go in. Oh. Get it done. Will do. Will do. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, uh, we're thinking about next week. This is what we've just done. And this is what we might do. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 that's what oh, do you yeah, think we, of that? We like yeah. that? I think it's brilliant. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's oh, lovely. Yeah, definitely. I love the eyes. <laughs> Righty ho. <laughs> oh. Now, Tony, I won't be here next week, but I'll definitely paint that. Okay, do. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> so, <laughs> knew you'd like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well yeah. can't, you can't say we don't do variety. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done, everybody. Bye, Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 How did you do, Sylvia? Did you do okay there? <laughs> Let's... Okay. That was good, Tony. That's really the bottom part, really good. The, the middle part, waiting for shadows and all your little walls and, and trees. Have I got that right, do you think? If you consider it finished, then it's finished. <laughs> I can't hear what you're saying, but... Um, He's it, muted, Tony. Yes, I know. You've done, yeah. done a good effort there, Sylvia. She's, she's struggling with the controls yeah. to get the old man down and get it <laughs> get, to get it sorted out that's what you're paying for yeah. <laughs> uh, okay then i shall work on mine this evening how did you do sylvia no sorry um can you hear me now? oh yes <laughs> yes I'm a bit better yeah i've, I've seen it I like, I like it, it. Okay. and uh, I'm working on it. Work on it. Show us next week. Yeah. Bye bye. Sorry, sorry. So, so Louise, much. Louise, how did you do? Oh dear. <laughs> oh, the look of the look of. Anger. I'm still doing it. All right, I'm not pushing you. But I've got as far as the little house. Okay, though. So. Bring it on, uh, 
If you come in in on Monday, bring it. I'm coming in on Monday, yes. I'm going to do that when I missed last week on Monday. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll have lots to see then on Monday. Oh, in theory. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'll bring mine in as well, all of us. I've got a new palette, Tony. Okay. Oh, that's wonderful. And called the graphics. Yeah, you can't go wrong now, then. No, true. Yeah, you've, you've no, no excuses. You've cracked it now. <laughs> right, let's get that kettle on. Yeah, bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.